Just a real quick addendum to the discussion of the HTML version versus the PDF version, and I came up with another reason. One is that I just don't like this text as much as I like this text. To me, it seems a little bit softer and easier to follow along. But the main, main most important part is uh, this part. Uh, if you are a complete beginner, sometimes the smallest of details can matter immensely. And what I mean by that is if you recall what we did with console.log sum of range, we figured out that sum and range, because they're not defined, <clears throat> aren't going to work without our defining separately sum and range as functions or operations that actually do what they are described to do in this code example. The problem uh, which we are going to see is that if we copy this code and bring it over to our replet here, we saw that it doesn't work and obviously it shouldn't because sum and range aren't defined. However, if we click this uh, over here, this is actually pretty cool and it's, a, it's definitely a you know, vote in the direction of using this HTML version of the Eloquent JavaScript. But if I run the code here, the problem is, is that it is going to give me a correct answer. And the reason is, is because obviously this has been loaded up with a version where sum and range are defined and do what the code says they should do. The problem with this is that this is not the case for just writing JavaScript straight out of the box. So that's why we're going to be using the PDF version. If there is a situation where the HTML version is necessary, we'll switch over to that. But that's why that's going on. So with that, we'll go ahead and get back to the walkthroughs after this, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.